to the video for YouTube. Uh, today we're going to talk about why fuses are sometimes known to be dangerous. Fuse boxes are perfectly safe when they have the correct size fuses in it and the terminals are tight. This fuse box um, has an inspection date of 1917. I don't know if you can really read that tag. Uh, but that's not the focus of this video. The focus of this video is uh, well, uh, taking a look at this, we I, I noticed we have a lot of 30 amp fuses in here. This is a really, really bad idea. Why? This is where the fires start. Because this is, a lot of this wire you have in here is not even 14 gauge. It's a little less than 14 gauge. It's probably closer to 15 gauge, but it's probably classed as 14. 14 gauge wires rated for a maximum of 15 amps per uh, national code. And as you see, we have a lot of uh, 12 and 14 gauge in here, especially this older stuff. A lot of this is just 14 gauge. Um, what do we have here? We have a 20 amp fuse. Uh, it's probably better than nothing, but if you look right there, we got a 30 amp fuse there. We got a 30 amp fuse there. We got a 25 amp there. I did put a 15 here because there was a 30 there and there's a 30 there, which I'm not, of course that's the neutral, so it really doesn't matter, but and all these were 30s and I found some and threw some 15s in there. But this is. 101 why um, fuse boxes get a bad rap with uh, with um, <clears throat> fires. One, uh, one solution you can look into if you have one of these and you have renters uh, or you don't trust your spouse, you can get um, some special inserts where you can only put a 15 amp fuse in one of those circuits. Uh, feeding it, we, hear we have a eight gauge wire going into the power meter, coming out of the power meter, going into this 60 amp disconnect, which, uh, let's have a look at the fuse size in here. Yeah, they got 60 amp fuses. And this is, what's this, this is 12 gauge wire, 10 gauge? And that's not even tight, look at that, look at that. Um, not identified either, so that's definitely not up to code, so hopefully we're going to fix that. Uh, but yeah, so if something catastrophic happened in here, um, there's a good chance that these 60 amp fuses would not blow and that this wiring would get hot and combust before the fuses had a chance to blow. So anyway, there you go. There's Fuse Boxes 101 for you. Have a great day.